Okay, you guys, so for my um, makeup routine, my first step that I use is this Sephora Beauty Amplifier. And you just want to make sure you put like a generous amount on and cover your total face. Okay, so for my second step, I use this Sephora foundation, which I love. And I just take one of these little sponges and um, I run it under the water like so. And just squeeze it and give it some, maybe dry it off with a towel. And then I just take it and blot to my face as so. So after both those steps have been completed, this is my face. I do struggle with acne here and there, so I've got like a couple coming in. Um, but I feel like once the total face goes on, then it's not very noticeable. So stay tuned. So my next step, I use the Sephora concealer just to kind of go over any little spots. So I'll go under my eyes and um, around my acne. Okay, so next I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pen to fix up these eyebrows. Yikes. I just had to pluck them because they were so bad. But I usually get them waxed um, at Ulta, so shout out to Mona if you see this video. She's the best. You guys need to make sure you schedule with her. Okay, so this is after me putting on the Brow Wiz. Um, this is something new I'm doing that when I went to re-get my new makeup this year, um, she wanted me to try and I just feel like it looks so dark in the beginning and I hate the look of when people do that liquid and they're like, meow, meow, meow. Everybody has their own sort of flavor, but that is not mine. So I used that pencil and just to give them like a little bit of some darkness there. So that's about it. My next step is this Hulu mini because I was just sampling it to see if I liked it and I really like it. This is what I'm gonna use for my bronzer. Okay, so this is the brush that I use. It's just like an old Bare Minerals brush, but I liked it. And with this, you just kind of want to make like circles and you want to make sure you go all the way back to your hairline. But you want to go underneath that cheekbone. Sorry, did you guys see that? Okay, so now that my bronzer is on, you guys can kind of see it just gives you like a little bit more definition, like when you're looking straight on in the side. It looks like heavy in the beginning, but it's really not. Then I take this bronzer brush, and my friend Taylor actually just taught me this, but I don't have like any insecurity about my nose, but I know some people do, so um, I do it just to add a little more texture. Just kind of take the brush, and you just kind of add a little bit of bronzer to the side of your nose to give it that little tinier look as well. Okay, so something else new I'm doing is the highlighter. I'm finally hip, you guys. So, um, I love this one. I obviously haven't tried any, <laughs> have any other one, but, um, you know, obviously drop in the comments um, what you guys use and your routines and stuff like that. If there's any other products I should be trying to use or anything. Um, so I'm going to apply this now. Okay, so when I apply it, I use this angled brush. I don't know if that's the right brush you're supposed to be using, but my mom got me this package for my birthday and I wanted to get into like makeup and stuff now since I'm done with nursing school. So I just kind of take it and apply it like same thing, circle motions around the eye. And then I'll do some like up on this hairline as well, just for like texture reasons and just how the sun looks. So now I just use this Tarte little blush um, little thing. I don't know what that's called, obviously, but um, and I just kind of like apply some to my brush and then I just kind of like give my cheeks that little bit of that pink look. And just kind of blot on there like that just for some more color okay so my last step for like my face and stuff is this um I don't even know if you guys can see this but 
it's like a setting powder. This is the one that I use. And then I just use my um, Sephora 59 brush. And because um, I never heard of setting spray or setting powder or anything. So this is something new I'm trying. And this came in my birthday package this year. But just kind of blend everything all together with it. It's kind of all over the place. Okay, so now my last step is the setting spray, and I use the Sephora brand. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to be using setting spray and powder, but that's just what I do. So this is kind of my look after I use the powder. It just kind of puts everything together so it doesn't look so dramatic, because um, I really don't like the look of it looking like I wear a lot of makeup. Plus, struggling with acne. I don't know if it's really good for my skin or not. So, yep. I'm going to spray just kind of like so. And then I just let it sit for a second before I move on to my eyes. Okay, so next I'm going to use this I Love Sephora. I just realized that it said <laughs> I Love Sephora. Saying it out loud like... Instead of saying, like, I, like, eyeball love, it's like, I love you. Um, but these are the colors in here, so um, I will use this first um, on my total eyelid, um, the crease and up. I don't even know if that makes sense. I'll use this in the corner of my eye um, to give it some color and then a little bit underneath to make my, I don't even know what my eyes are, blue or green eyes pop out and then... This um, sparkly one in the middle is the one that I use um, kind of like um, kind of like um, in on the front and I'll just do that one like on the front half and on the inside of the eyeball. This is what I mean by the crease and up. I just kind of take the brush and I go for my crease and I just kind of let it go where it goes in that sense. Make sure you guys really um, dust off the, the um, extra on the brush because otherwise you'll start seeing like this color down on your cheeks and it's, it's a trick. I kind of either just like tap it or I like will take my palette. I can't do it obviously with my hand, but I'll like tap it like that. So same thing, just like in this crease is where I'll put this guy. I'll also use this at the end to blend it all together. Okay, so now I have the dark one. So with this guy, I'm just literally gonna go into that first corner like that and add this color. I don't know why, every time I do my makeup, I, like my mouth has to go open. So I'll go here and then I'll kinda like Go under like that to give it a little bit of. Make my eyeball pop a little This bit is more. what it looks like after I use the darker one. I kind of go like halfway. You see? Kind of go like halfway um, to the eyelid. And then you can see how much I like dramatize it on the bottom as well. Which, like I said, it looks super dramatic in the beginning, but um, at the end. It looks all nice together. Okay, then just for this last little guy, I just kind of will pat in the halfway of the dark one. And then I'll do like a little line under here. And that's my final eyelid look. Okay, so here is the front video of it. I just literally take it and I kind of just like pat this guy to create that half eye and then I'll just do like a little swoop down here just to give it that extra little dramatized look. Okay so then for mascara I use this Dior first on top and bottom and then this is a new mascara I'm trying as well. It's um this superhero it and I like it so far so um, I don't like it when it looks really chunky so I feel like um, 
It's hard. And then, oh yeah, I'll do another setting spray. Okay, so this is my final look for today.